Hey guys, it's Seth, the Shrinking Pastor here with my P90X Day 6 update. Uh, today's exercise was Kenpo. Yes, you have to say it in that uh, very foreboding voice. Um, Kenpo, or as I like to call it, the Karate Kid workout, um, is high cardio, lots of legs, lots of arms, lots of punching and kicking, and um, it's, it's fun. Um, of the workouts, I think today's hour went by the fastest. I know scientifically all hours go at the same speed, but it felt like today's um, hour went faster than most days. Um, there were some times where my muscles were screaming, um, especially for those of you familiar with the Karate Kid, um, I think for licensing reasons they can't call it this, but they did wax on, wax off, um, about 120 reps of it, um, or blocking. So you take your arm and you go up and down and up and down and up and it's a little bit weird to defend from someone that's not attacking you or to be punching somebody that's not attacking you um it makes it a little bit bizarre and so he he emphasizes not to overstretch your arms um and hurt your joints because you know if you throw a punch like there's going to be an impact you can hurt yourself if there's not one um but you do a, you do like 30 blocks this way and then you do 30 blocks this way or as he says punch the punch the corner of the room and then 30 blocks with your arms out punching the corner of the room or stabbing uh, the, the corner of the room and then 30 kind of downward blocks and, and if you've seen the karate kid movie um you will absolutely know uh what to do when you get to that part um now he's you know tony is not uh not a mr miyagi he's not as cool and mysterious and asian um, but after 120 reps of, of doing this blocking, your arms don't come down. Um, it's pretty continual and you're squatting the whole time you do it. Your arms just burn. They are on fire. Um, the other thing that does it is the very last move of the day, which is just punching and you punch straight out with your right hand and left hand. You alternate back and forth and you do a hundred reps. And the last, the first 50 are warming up to to a faster speed. So you start off really painfully slow, and the last 50 is just lightning, and uh, and your arms just hurt so bad. But it feels real good when you, you get to the end and when you stop. Um, today, more than any day so far, I, I felt the workout immediately after and have felt it through the day, um, which is is good. Um, my muscles are, are screaming a little bit. I've had more muscle cramps, so really am, am going to be looking into other methods for, for getting rid of those. I'm um, going to try to drink more water and uh, try some electrolytes early in the morning. Um, but I, I want to knock those out. And then after the workout this morning, um, Allie and I went and met up with some of our good friends, Josh and Jen and their son Eli, and we went to this park in Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, it's tucked back in the middle of nowhere, but it's like a mini amusement park slash zoo. Um, it has a barn area. It's a, it's a national park, I think, um, but it has a, a normal park stuff, fields and uh, playground. It also has a petting zoo area that you pay like 50 cents a person to get into. Um, it's got a nature center, a reptile center, which is, everything's very small. Um, the nature center had probably 10 different types of animals, but it had black bears and it had fox and, um, some birds of prey. And it was like a dollar to go in and, and see these animals. So it was, it was weird because it was so dumbed down and, and so tiny. I mean, it had a train. And we bought tickets for the train. We're like, cool, cool, cool. And we walk around the corner and realize that it's like it, the cars are about two feet tall and three feet deep. And it's it's a kiddie tr train. Um, and I'm pretty confident that had I not done yoga this week, I wouldn't have been able to fit into the, the train car. Um, but the exciting thing about all of this is a few years ago... Um, when we first got married, we went to uh, a cave, and we had to stop before we made it to the cave, walking the path, 
um, I've had surgery on my hip and I'm in bad shape and my hip was starting to go numb and my lower back was starting to go numb from walking. Today, I felt the same sensation um, after four hours walking at the park. And that's really good. Now I do have new shoes, but I attribute a lot of that to the working out. Um, that I was able to walk around that much before I felt really any strain, any stress. And that on top of doing Kempo today, which Kempo, um, which really works your hips. Um, I was very, very pleased um, with that result and got extra cardio, got extra exercise into the mix. Uh, the last thing to know about Kempo or the Karate Kid workout is if you are not a flexible person to begin with, um, you will probably look like an octopus trying to walk on land or um, you will look like the, uh, the Jedi Kid. Um, it's not attractive. If if you're new to this, don't do it in front of your girlfriend. Um, it's just it's not not attractive. Uh, speaking of, thank you to um, Isaac and and Ashley for uh, joining P90X. Uh, good luck. I know you guys will do great because you're in great shape already. Anyway, uh, that has been my P90X Day Six Kempo update. Um, hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I look forward to telling you about how tomorrow's stretch exercise goes. Have a great